The vector group of a transformer is a method of categorizing the high-voltage HV windings and low-voltage LV winding configurations of three-phase transformers. It is indicated on the name plate of the transformer by the manufacturer. The vector group indicates the phase difference between the primary and secondary sides, introduced due to that particular configuration of transformer windings connection. Three-phase transformers consist of three sets of primary windings, one for each phase, and three sets of secondary windings wound on the same iron core. The primary windings are connected in one of several ways. The two most common configurations are the delta, in which the polarity end of one winding is connected to the non-polarity end of the next, and the star, in which all three non-polarities or polarity ends are connected together. The secondary windings are connected similarly. This means that a three-phase transformer can have its primary and secondary windings connected the same delta delta or star star, or differently delta star or star delta. When the primary and secondary windings are connected the same way, the secondary voltage waveforms are in phase with the primary waveforms. This condition is called no phase shift. But when the primary and secondary windings are connected differently, the secondary voltage waveforms will differ from the corresponding primary voltage waveforms by 30 elect electrical degrees. This is called a 30 degree phase shift. When two transformers are connected in parallel, their phase shifts must be identical, if not, a short circuit will occur when the transformers are energized. In electrical engineering, a vector group, officially called a connection symbol, is the International Electrotechnical Commission IEC method of categorizing the high-voltage HV windings and low-voltage LV winding configurations of three-phase transformers. The vector group designation indicates the windings configurations and the difference in phase angle between them. For example, a star HV winding in delta LV winding with a 30-degree lead is denoted as YD11. The phase windings of a polyphase transformer can be connected internally in different configurations, depending on what characteristics are needed from the transformer. In a three-phase power system, it may be necessary to connect a three-wire system to a four-wire system, or vice versa. Because of this, transformers are manufactured with a variety of winding configurations to meet these requirements. Different combinations of winding connections will result in different phase angles between the voltages on the windings. Transformers connected in parallel must have the same vector group. Mismatching phase angles will result in circulating current and other system disturbances. The common vector group configurations of transformers are as follows. 1. Y or Y star connection. All three non-polarities or polarity ends are connected together. 2. D or D delta connection. The polarity end of one winding is connected to the non-polarity end of the next. 3. N or N neutral. The star point neutral is brought out to an external terminal. 4. 0 to 12 phase displacement. Phase displacement in terms of clock position in multiples of 30 degrees. The notation should follow HVLV phase displacement sequence with the HV winding in uppercase and LV winding in lowercase. For example, a winding configuration where the HV winding is connected in delta while the LV winding is connected in star, and the LV lags the HV by 30 degrees, belongs to the vector group of transformer Dyn-12. The most common vector configuration of three-phase transformers is the DYN-11 vector group. Where can you find the vector group of the transformer? You can find the transformer vector groups by checking the nameplate of that transformer. There are a symbol in specific file the vector group, and by this, you can understand it very easily. For example, when the symbol shows the YY0. This means that the primary winding is star. Secondary winding is delta vector group is zero. Now you can understand that a vector group is a number, and from this number, you can decode it to phase shift of primary and secondary. Some examples of transfer vector groups. So, in transformed, there are different vector representations, and you can decode the vector group and identify the config run very easily. Following are the type 0F vector group you can find in transformer nameplate. Why is the transformer vector group important? This is one of the important factors when paralleling several transformers together. Different, different combinations of transformer winging create different phase angles then the voltage level of such transformers is different. 
When you connect two different transformer vector groups parallel then the phase different of each transformed gets higher. It will flow a large circulating current between that transformer, which is extremely dangerous. There is no technical difference between one vector group i.e. yd1 or another vector group with same interconnection for the windings i.e. yd11 in terms of performance. The only factor affecting the choice between one or the other is system phasing, i.e. whether parts of the network fed from the transformer need to operate in parallel with another source. It also matters if you have an auxiliary transformer connected to generator terminals. To determine the vector group of an existing transformer, you can perform a vector group test. Here's a simplified procedure for a YND11 transformer. 5. Connect the neutral point of the star connected winding with Earth. 2. Join 1U of the high voltage HV and 2W of the low voltage LV together. 3. Apply a 415V, 3 phase supply to the HV terminals. 4. Measure voltages between terminals 2U1N, 2V1N, 2W1N, i.e., voltages between each LV terminal and HV neutral. The measured voltages and their phase relationships can be used to determine the vector group of the transformer. Please note that this is a simplified procedure and actual testing should be performed by a qualified professional following all safety procedures. Also, the procedure may vary slightly depending on the specific transformer configuration. If the transformer has a nameplate, the vector group is usually indicated there. If not, or if the nameplate is unreadable, a vector group test can be performed. In some cases, the vector group might be indicated in the transformer's documentation or technical drawings. If these resources are not available, a professional should be consulted. Here are some safety precautions to consider when performing vector group testing on transformers. 5. Power off. Always keep the power off when working on the transformer. 2. Zero electrical leakage. Ensure there is no electrical leakage or continuity between the current source and the system. 3. Use protective equipment. Always use appropriate protective equipment and pay close attention to specific ratings for the transformer's voltage output. 4. Proper grounding. Ensure proper grounding of the transformer during the test. 5. Verify testing equipment. Check the integrity of the testing equipment before starting the test. 6. Discharge windings. After the test, do not energize the transformer before earthing the windings to be sure that the windings are discharged. 7. Insulation resistance. If you find the insulation resistance is not satisfied, further investigation should be done in the transformer before energization.